Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Peeping Tom is a 1960s British psychological horror thriller film that was directed by Michael Powell. It was written by Leo Marx, and it stars Carl Boehm, Anna Massey, and Moria Shearer. I tell you, I see a lot of movies, and I rarely see films that I find to just be completely unbelievable in the way they were produced, written, and filmed. But this is one of them. I had seen this movie listed for years, and I thought it was just a B film. But I never watched it until recently, and holy cow was I wrong. This is one of the better films I've seen in a long time. And I'm not one that falls into liking the horror genre, but this movie is on a different level. The storyline goes that Mark Lewis, as a boy, was subject to bizarre experiments by his scientist father, who wanted to study and record the effects of fear on the nervous system. Now he's all grown up, and both his parents are dead, and by day, Mark works as a focus puller for a London studio. He moonlights, though, by taking girly pictures above a newsagent's shop. But he's also taken up a horrifying hobby. He murders women while using a movie camera to film their dying expressions of terror. One evening, Mark meets and befriends Helen Stevens, who's a young woman that rents one of the rooms in his house, where she lives with her blind mother. You see Helen in the fact that she might be able to redeem this poor soul of Mark. But in the same thought, you have to realize that she possibly could become one of his victims. The movie's controversial subject matter and its extremely harsh reception by the critics had a severely negative impact on Michael Powell's directorial career. This film has been completely reevaluated by now and has a cult following and is considered a complete masterpiece of filmmaking. The British Film Institute named it the 78th greatest British film of all time. And a 2017 poll of 150 actors, directors, writers, and producers saw it ranked as the 27th best British film ever. Powell's release of Peeping Tom is a cinematic landmark that dove headfirst into the darkest recesses of voyeurism, both that it is the theme of the film and as a commentary on the nature of cinema itself. It dives deep into the character's troubled psyche and his obsession with capturing fear on film. His camera is not just a tool. It's an extension of his predatory desires and instincts. The camera's lens, which usually serves as a window into the world, turns into becoming a weapon, exposing the complete vulnerability of his victims. The movie makes a potent commentary on the act of filmmaking itself. It emphasizes how the camera inherently transforms us as viewers into voyeurs by providing us with access to moments and lives that are not entirely our own. Upon its initial release, the movie was met with harsh criticism, with some people considering it a very shameful and perverted film, and Powell's career suffered a significant blow as a result of this. The British theaters that it ran in, because of these outcries from the critics, pulled the movie after just five days. And it wasn't just the film's content that they were concerned about. Many of the critics of that time were offended by the director's use of himself and his real-life son, playing the part of Mark Lewis's father and the young Mark Lewis, respectively. They thought that the director overly identified with the movie and that the use of his son in the film 
bordered on abuse. In interviews later on as an adult, Powell's son has stated many times that he finds these criticisms just down out laughable. Now, one of the biggest directors in today's market is Martin Scorsese, and he says that this film shaped his career and his consciousness of making films. He loved it, every aspect of it. Coincidentally, Scorsese's lifelong editor, Thelma Shoemaker, was married to the director, Michael Powell, from 1984 to 1990. The movie is considered the British counterpart to America's Psycho, though it was banned for many years, and so it did not become a box office smash like Psycho. Filmmakers that saw it when it opened cite it as being just as influential as Hitchcock's classic, or maybe even more so. I think I would be one to fall in that category. I think it's a better film than Psycho. Although the set pieces are more artfully constructed in Hitchcock's thriller, the killer in Peeping Tom is much more tragic and sympathetic, which was a major innovation for film at that time. The director met with Pamela Green because he saw photos of her in a men's magazine and decided that's who he wanted in the film. He asked her to pose nude for him to see how she looked moving around and taking direction, and she agreed to do so. The director was really impressed at how comfortable she was being completely without clothes on in front of a group of men. She told them that she had been a naturalist for years and thought that being without clothes was natural and normal. After filming this scene where she's laying completely nude on the bed, she remained on the bed so that the production photographer could shoot some still photos. Then all of a sudden, she was suddenly aware of a stranger's presence at the foot of the bed, aiming a camera straight up at her body. She sat up and quickly yelled, You're shooting me from that angle? No pictures like that. Get off the set. Electricians on the film pounced on this intruder, took his camera away, and ejected him off the set. It turned out to be some photojournalist who had gotten wind of the fact that there was a girl without clothes on on stage F, and he wanted to get photos of the first nude woman in a British feature-length film. You have got to do yourself a favor and go watch this movie. I can't tell you how surprised I was at how good it is. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.